Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Pavelchuk, principal of Zion Benton High School. Just wanted to take a few minutes to update you on our transition from quarter one to quarter two in our interactive remote learning plan. I want to emphasize that what we were doing quarter one, we are going to continue to do that in quarter two. Uh, we will continue to stay in our interactive remote learning plan and um, that has been approved and agreed upon by our Board of Education last week. And we are making a commitment to stay in this mode of learning remotely through the rest of the semester uh, ending on January 15th. With that, I want to highlight and remind highlight a few things that have been going on and that I want to continue to possibly see um, uh, students and families taking more advantage of those opportunities and then highlight one specific change that we did make with regard to quarter two in this plan. Before I do that, I just want to highlight two metrics that need to be, um, that, that I'm asking all, everyone to pay very close attention to. One is attendance and one is grades. And by and large, we are seeing some similarities with regard to overall attendance of students and grade distributions, A's, B's, and C's versus D's and F's compared to past years. So on one hand, we're happy that, that student success rates, so to speak, are very comparable to what we've traditionally had. However, we would like to see this get better. We need more students logging into their classes and engaging with teachers every single day, every single period, with a focus on doing all they can to earn those A's, B's, and C's, and continue to utilize the services we've been providing and the opportunities that we've been affording so that all students can be successful. And I'll highlight a few places where um, uh, this where students could take a little bit more advantage of some opportunities to ensure that 100% of our students, not, I get my pointer, not 72%, but 100% attend all their classes on a given day. And that when it comes to the success rates of earning A's, B's, and C's, that every student, every class, that's the grade that you're earning. That's what our goal is. That's what our hope is for. So similar to quarter one, we will continue virtual live instruction daily. Students will get up in the morning at 8.30. By 8.30, they will need to log into their first period or second period class, depending on the day, by way of opening their Chromebooks, getting into Canvas, and clicking on the Enter Classroom link so that they could get into the Zoom classroom. We will continue to provide in-person and virtual personalized supports from our teachers and from our counselors, from all everyone in the building. Uh, we will continue to keep our building open and I'll highlight that a little bit later. And we will continue to provide extracurricular activities to the very best of our abilities following state guidelines. Here is the one change I wanna highlight for everyone. The one simple change we made is we have added five minutes of live virtual instruction to each period. Our schedule, as you see it here, is the exact same schedule as it was during the first quarter, with the exception of five minutes added to every class. And you can see here on our odd days and our even days, the start time is the same, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. 11.30. Our end time is five minutes later, 9.20, 10.20, 11.20, 20, and 12.20, 20, giving us 50 minutes of synchronous learning time, students with teachers versus the 45 minutes. We feel like more time with teachers in a, vir in, in, in a synchronous virtual environment is going to be more effective for students. Um, in the long run. And uh, all we did was reduce our transition breaks from 15 minutes to 10 minutes. 
we moved our 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 teacher lunch slash student travel time um, uh, forward five minutes to a 1220 start uh, to 105 um, and, and, and have impacted overall the, the, the daily schedule very, very, um, I should say minimally. Um, so um, consistency is still there uh, and that we will make be making this transition starting Monday, October 26th, all right? Um, we've laid out our day to day schedule as we've done in the past, so this will take us through the end of the semester to January 15th. We have tried to do the best we could um, with this odd period, even period, uh, odd period, even period kind of transition from a day to day um, on a day to day basis to the best of our abilities. It's not perfect because of all the days off. However, we will continue to provide canvas announcements so students know what classes they need to attend every day. And I'm quite certain that the routines and the habits that are forming um, have reduced any of that confusion since we've been doing it for so long. Uh, a few things to emphasize as we continue into quarter two, ZBTH, T, sorry, ZBTHS is open and will stay open. Um, now, I wanna be clear, however, that Synchronous learning will continue to happen virtually. We, we will not have, as we haven't had, teachers teaching to live students in a classroom. Uh, it's just impossible for us to provide that opportunity in a safe environment and, and adhere to the social distancing guidelines. However, we do have internet cafes, um, our, our, our cafeteria spaces, um, are available for, for students to use in a distraction-free way. We have reliable internet in our building. Our offices are open. Our bookstore is open. We're providing curbside pickup of materials. We will maintain two days a week for each teacher to be in our building for student in-person supports if necessary. And then also they will be available virtually if necessary. All of that has not changed since the first quarter. Food services has not changed since the first quarter. We will continue to provide grab and go services, continue curbside meals free of charge. We will continue to run buses. Our bus schedule is on our website. It's a little complicated, I will admit. Take some time to look at that or call us and we will walk any, any family through uh, the information they need to, to make sure that they can get on, on a bus and then get home and where those bus routes are going to be but we have tried to reduce any, re any excuses of, I don't have transportation to school to keep students from coming here if they need to come here. We're gonna to continue to maintain a commitment to the opportunities students have with our clubs, activities, and athletics, but we also have to be mindful to some of the state guidelines regarding what we can do with volumes of students at one time with regard to social distancing guidelines, particularly as our COVID rates begin to increase a little bit right now and we head into the winter months. But we will continue to monitor that. And, and, and all of this is about doing all we can to provide the best opportunities and student experiences as we can in this circumstance and during this pandemic. We will continue to stay focused on our, on our social distancing guidelines and safety protocols Everyone comes in and has a temperature check. They self-certify that they are symptom-free. They sanitize their hands. We ask everyone to continue to wash hands if they're here on a regular basis. It is imperative that everyone wear a mask that covers their nose and mouth at all times and adhere as much as possible to the six feet social distancing guidelines. And with that, I wanna say thank you. Thank you to our students our community for supporting us in this endeavor. The staff at Zion Benton Township High School has been incredible in doing all that we can to provide the services and supports that we need for our families and our kids because we believe you matter. Students, take advantage of these opportunities. Take advantage of our services. Call on us, students and families, if you need assistance. We are here to help you. We have done all we can to try and maintain the, the environment necessary for your success, and we will continue to do so. So with that, please continue.
to do all you can to stay safe during this pandemic. Continue students to work hard and put forth your very best efforts and have a fantastic weekend as we transition into quarter two and ride out the rest of this semester. Thank you.